Lumbo? Excuse me, sir. I didn't mean to barge in. Uh, I look for your secretary. I guess she's powdering her nose or something. May I, uh... Sir? I would have been here earlier, but my car broke down again. I had some more trouble. Now they're telling me it's the generator. If you don't mind, Lieutenant, I'm in something of a hurry. I'm making real progress, sir, so I thought that... Finish your report? No, I haven't. No. Well, finish the report and I'll read it. No, I'll take you home and get something to eat. On that chopper patrol tonight. I understand, sir. Just take a minute. I know you're in a hurry. Before I actually fill out the report, if I could just double check that description that you had of the. It was hardly a description. I barely got a glimpse of him. Right. You did say, uh, dark sweater. That's right. Dark pants. Some kind of cap. And a dark cap. Dark cap, dark. That's it, just dark. It was night, Lieutenant, and I was a long way away. Uh, that's too bad. That's what your wife said. You uh, spoke to my wife, did you? I thought you left. What was that, sir? I say you spoke to my wife. Yes, there's nothing wrong. No, certainly not. No, you know, you see, it was just that on the basis of the news conference this morning, I thought that she also saw the burglar. It's ridiculous. He was gone by the time she got to the terrace. Yes, sir. Yes, that's what she said. Yes. But you certainly gave that impression, so I thought it was... Look, right Lieutenant, if you don't mind, I've got to go now. My limousine is waiting. There are a couple of other things... Give my secretary a call in the morning. I'll try to find some time for you. so early. Oh, I thought I'd get an early supper. Please leave the room, darling. You know I like to bathe in private. <laughs> Come on, Marty. Don't be so coy. You know you wear those bubbles like a suit of armor? Come on, Mark. I'll only be a minute. Have I told you recently, darling, that our marriage has been a constant joy to me? <laughs> hmm? Ellen? No, it happened. Well, it has. I think the first thing that appealed to me about you, Margaret, was your... your generosity, that... sweet, open-handed quality of yours. Well, sometimes your... your judgment's not so good. You know that, don't you? What do you say? Well, four and a half million dollars, and you... Willing to hand it out to anybody who has a sad story in a crumpled suit? My money, Mark. My inheritance. Wrong, darling. My inheritance. Just one more thing. 